Hey guys, this is uh, Nick. Um, I just had something really cool happen to me. So I have uh, a a uh, 11 volt lipo. You can see here, and it was dead, completely dead. I, it had one cell at 3.6 volts, and the other cell was zero, and the third cell was zero. So it was sitting at 3.69 total volts for this this battery here. You can see here. Uh, and I got it charging, which I don't really, <laughs> it's really, 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 really cool. So what I did, and this is not probably the best thing to do. So, you know, uh, you'll see, I, I have a lipo bag here just in case it blows up. I took another battery and I used this junction here, here, this here, and I put both batteries onto the junction for about 30 seconds until the, until the voltage equalized. And then I put this battery here on my charger after I pulled this battery off and now it holds voltage it, hold, it, hold, it holds current so and it has acceptable voltage you know it's 11.18 because it's still charging you know so it needs to get to 12.6 but still I, I, I can't believe it <laughs> and the craziest thing is I used a 14 point uh, was this 4 cell 14.8 which is and this this one here it, I, I was planning on getting rid of pretty soon anyways it's not a very good battery um, and it's old, it's, it's pretty old, but it does hold a charge. All four cells are still good. So I thought I would try it. And because I thought, well, if it kills this battery, I don't really care. Um, it didn't. So there we go. Um, pretty dang cool. Uh, anyway, there you go. If you have a dead battery and you want to fix it, and uh, you have another battery you don't really care about, and you have a charger, well, this might be the way to go. I don't know. But anyway, thanks, guys.